Hey, we want to welcome you all to Fly Fishing and Tying with Bud. We're going to show you today how to tie the wool head mullet. And on this particular one, we're going to tie it at a sink rate of about one inch per second. You can subsurface, you can sink them a couple inches a second, and you can put a heavy sink on them if you're fishing deeper water. But if you're wade fishing in the wintertime, this is a killer fly that lets you compete with the fat boy your buddies are probably fishing with. Because a lot of you get into fly fishing, but you don't have anybody to fly fish with, but your buddies still go out and fish, you know, with their artificials and stuff like that. This will allow you to compete with them. All right, to get started here on the woolhead mullet, we put a little put thread on our hook, but I'm going to take some called 030 lead wire, and I'm going to put a little bit of lead wire on here because we want it just to sink a little faster than normal. And this is gonna allow it to sink at about one inch a second. Now we're gonna come back and we're gonna roll that wire in here. This is a vice that rotates, was made by a fellow, an old friend of mine named Norm Lorlander. And you can still get him. Norm's no longer with us. Great guy, good fly tire. And he inv invented this vice. It's one of the, as far as I'm concerned, one of the best vices on the market. All right, now we're gonna put a tail on here and what we're gonna use is some we're going to use a little bucktail. Now, bucktail does float, but with the wire and the wool we're going to put on it, it's going to make it. It's going to make a, a, a fly that uh, works fantastic fishing deeper water in the winter time. And I always like it. I like a little. I always like a little base, stiffer base uh, tail on it because uh, it. it just gives it a little better action. And it'll help hold up the finer materials we're gonna use on this fly. Now we're gonna use some fox fur on here. But you can also use marabou. Marabou works great. Excuse me for licking my finger. I'm gonna put a little uh, What is that, man? This right here is called SLF Hanks. It's, it's a great body material looks and it looks fantastic. Gives it some real good good colors in this. So we're gonna tie a little bit of this in, in different colors. I'm gonna come back with this. Trim that off in a little bit. Now we're going to start adding our uh, wool. We're going to use a little bit of of uh, color in here with some this is wool, dyed wool. And we're going to put a little bit of this in here. Now remember this is going to kind of compete with the uh, with the fat boy, and we do want it to sink a little bit. Now the head we're gonna use, we are going to use purple. This is wool. We're gonna get a, some pinches of this out of here. Pretty good amount of it. I'm not the prettiest wool, wool <laughs> tire, but they, 
I, they do produce some pretty fish. I'm a sloppy tire, but I get it done. Effective, huh? Uh, effective. Yes, it's effective. And we'll trim this out, make it look beautiful in a little bit. You can also make this weedless if you want, but Let's we're not stepping out here. <laughs> we're not doing that. We're just, I use a red eye on my flies. It means they have lead in them and they sink. All the other eyes that I use, I, mean, I use a bunch of different ones, uh, are for just regular ties for nothing special. But red eye means it sinks. So this fly will sink about an inch a second with the lead we put in it. So right now we're going to take and put these eyes on. And what I use is Crafter's Loctite, and it works fantastic. I, I don't have any flies. I lose eyes on hardly ever. So we're going to put take and put a dab here. We're going to come right back around here, same spot, put a dab there. Take an eye. Now you'll see a lot of glue there. It doesn't hurt anything, and it'll dry clear. Now if you turn it this way, you'll see if we got them pretty close. Now take that extra glue off. All we do is roll that like that. And you can take and moisten your finger and push that in there. That one's seating good there. Now when it dries, it'll look like those. Woolhead mullet. One that you can compete with the fat boy, look. If you're a fly fisherman, believe me, it'll work. And you gotta, you gotta work it. And work it as hard as those guys are working that fat boy. You fish it slow in the winter time and jig it a little bit, a real little jig it. That's going to sit there like something's after it. Good fly. It'll catch fish. It'll catch big trout. Try it. <laughs> Try bud rollings, mud minnow, numero uno, and, and the mullet fly. And you'll arrive with a good hug from your wife with some fish to eat.